everybody, welcome back to part two of the Sims 3 Not So Berry Challenge, Generation 1. Today, Miss Marie is up and getting herself ready for work. I just post her for the thumbnail, which is why she looks the way she does. Or not looks the way she does, but like why she was already in her everyday wear. So she's actually going to be off to work at 8 a.m. And like I told you yesterday, I think today after work, she is going to go on a little outing with Lydia to um to the library yes to the library so she can read some books and work on her skills and then also get to know Lydia a little bit I really want to oh man hold on I'm gonna have to reset her Marie Hadley okay um the reason I had to reset her is because when I posed her for the pictures I moved her from one level to another and then when I moved her back that like throws them off um, but anyways I want her to become best friends with Lydia so while she's at work she's actually going to geek out with fellow scientists I don't think she really needs to get to know anybody else um, actually you know what oh actually she knows everybody so never mind um, I was gonna say I want her to know everybody she works with but it looks like she does so that's perfect um, I want her and Lydia to become like best 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 friends I would love for her and Justine to become best friends and then I would like her to be either friends or more with everybody that she knows that is another part of this challenge let's look at the pretty floor <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking at the empty floor but that's another part of this generation is you're supposed to um, while also working very hard make time for your friends so yeah I do also want to say I am recording this video before I even posted part one so if you left me suggestions I have not seen them I am just really in a filming mood lately um, so yeah I just I really wanted to really wanted to film um, also as for lifetime rewards I know I touched on this briefly in the last part but I really want to get like the first one I'm gonna get is where is it um it's like that long-distance friend one no way it costs this much Where is it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, okay, long distance friend. It costs 20000 So your friends will never become distant friends even if you ignore them. They know you're good for it down the line. So basically, um, we're going to save up 20,000 lifetime reward points and then we're going to um, get that. I just feel like especially in this game if you don't talk to a friend for like two days they become a distant friend and it is so hard to go from distant friend to like friend friend you know what i mean so i i just i feel like having that is really good especially for someone who wants to have close friendships so we're actually just gonna kind of sit here um is there like something you can do greeting card photos ghost hunting tour the science lab oh we can take a science class to get our skill up faster gardening logic scuba diving we can donate insects inventing we can do all kinds of fun stuff here but i think we're actually just gonna sit out here until we get off work um so that way as soon as lydia comes out we can um form a group with her that's kind of the plan so we're gonna not oh that's reagan we do need to become friends with Reagan also, but like I'm more worried about Lydia, to be honest. Oh, that's Lewis. Lewis, I don't care about you. I'm looking for... Okay, you know what? Let's invite her out. Yell at? Oh my god, girl. She just yelled at him. I don't know what he did. I don't know why, Like, but she yelled at him. Um, so we're going to invite her to the library. Hopefully she says yes. That is where we met her, you know. Um, buy something worth 100 simoleons. I'm not interested. Are you freaking kidding me? Lydia. Chat with her and then try it again. Not over. Invite out. <clears throat> invite out. And girl, you got to get out of those clothes. I cannot do those clothes. Cannot. So we're going to chat with her and also buy something worth 100 millions, girl. We will 100% be doing that. 
Um, because you, you got a lot you need to buy, okay? You got a lot. I honestly don't see Marie being, like, even though she is, like, I go out with my friends a lot kind of person, I don't see her being, like, a... Um, I go out clubbing into bars and stuff. I think maybe that'll be something she does specifically for, like, you know, my bachelorette party. It's like a one-time thing I'm going out to a bar. Like, I have only been to a bar once, and it was on my 21st birthday. I've n I'm not interested. Mar Lydia, what the heck? Let's see where she lives. Maybe she's one of those Sims that, like, doesn't have a house and she's always glitched. What's her last name? I should probably know that. Um, Lydia Rush. So we have the Robbles. Okay, don't know how I know you. Um, this is where Lewis lives. Okay. And those are the only two people you know that have a house. Love to freaking see it. Well, I guess she's going to go to the library by herself. Um, and also, for the beginning here, I do plan on playing probably two days at a time per part, at least while she's working, because when she's the only sim in the household and she works for, what, nine to two, five and a half hours, plus, you know, you leave an hour early with your commute, so she's out of the house for six and a half hours a day for work, and with her being the only sim, as long as it's a work day, I plan on playing two days at a time, so... Um, like, I'm going to play today and Wednesday as one part, and then Thursday is leisure day, so I'll actually do leisure day completely by itself, and just kind of things like that. So, we're going to go ahead and come to the library, and we're actually going to read a book on science. I feel like reading gets our skill up a lot faster than actually using the science thing. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and read a book on science, and then depending on if people have showed up or not, we will also read a book on gardening, just because she does need gardening for her job. Um, so, yeah, basically, we're just trying to kill time until people will show up and we can start becoming friends with them. I do think we should actually send some friendly texts out to the girls. Um, we'll send you a couple, and we'll send you a couple. Because we're actually supposed to be, like, best friends with Justine, and she's at the bottom of our list. She's lower than Neil, who we only know as someone that we yelled at, okay? Um, three for Lydia, two for Reagan, and then I want three for Justine. And then I want to text Lewis just once. Okay, and we'll see if anyone has showed up by the time we're done with all this texting probably not this is actually like super annoying she wants to research science we'll go ahead and lock that in we're not going to buy one of these we will buy something worth 100 simoleons but um not for a while i think i'm actually going to take this off just because i don't see her like genuinely um taking a class in science, you know what I mean? I see her just like naturally learning it. So let's actually read the gardening skill. As, oh, somebody's here. Somebody's here. And it's a man. It's Juan. Um, we're actually going to go introduce ourselves to him. I feel like he could... He could be a potential future romantic partner. Um, like I said, I have not posted the create a sim or part one yet. So if you guys have been like, oh, you know, I think she should, I think you should make a sim for her, for her or I think she should date around um, townies before settling down or she should marry a townie. Like, I have no idea what you guys have picked. So um, I'm just going to have her get to know as many people as she can. He's a stylist. We're actually going to head on home. So she can make herself some food before... Okay. Oh, this is Lydia's boyfriend. Oh my god, I love that. Oh my god, wait. No, I love that. Her, Juan, and Lydia are going to be best friends. They're going to be the three amigos. I love that. It's so cute. Um, do they not have a house? What's his last name? Oh, they must live here together. Okay, but it's under his last name because... He's the man. I don't freaking know. Um, okay, cool. I love that. I love that. Um, we're going to go home. We're going to probably make a quick uh, dinner. Maybe like waffle waffles. No. Um, maybe salad. I don't know if we have anything in our fridge. 
if our house would load that would be great oh also let me know what you guys think about getting a pet um there's no like restrictions on you can't have pets or something i'm actually just gonna have her eat some leftovers because it's already almost 10 p.m but there's no restrictions on like if you can or can't have pets so let me know if you want her to have a pet i think it'd be super cute um, we could get a dog who can help us out with like sniffing out um, sniffing out metals and stuff, which would actually be really good because she does have to complete the gem and metal thing. Um, so we could get a dog that would really, really help her with um, what she has to complete for this for this generation or we could get a cat and just kind of have her do everything on her own. It's fully up to you guys. Just let me know. So she's gonna grab something to eat, clean up her plates, take care of her garden, and then I am gonna send her to bed so she can try and get some sleep before she has to go to work. And then really quickly, before we finish up here, I wanna see what I can do as far as updating the kitchen. So I definitely want one of these. And then I think she should also get a microwave just because she can't afford anything. Love that. Um, let's see. If we if we sold her stove, we could only get the cheapest stove possible. And I bet you it's the same thing with her fridge. If we sold her fridge, we can literally only get the cheapest fridge possible. Okay, cool. Well, we bought a new countertop, and that's all that matters. Um, oh, she wants to go to the bookstore, not the library. I need to remember that. Um, but yeah, she's going to just take care of her garden really quickly and then go to bed. So I'm actually going to pick up with you guys when she wakes up tomorrow morning. All right, you guys, so same sort of routine as yesterday. She's going to get up. She's going to get her day started, maybe make her bed if she has some time. And then I think instead of going to the library today, which I've actually done with her a lot. Mm, hold the phone. Does this town not have a festival? I'm gonna edit the town really quick and put a festival lot down here instead because I don't know why it does not have a festival that is messed up. Okay, so I now realize why there was not a festival grounds because the lot that it would typically go on, which would be the big park, is not big enough for a festival grounds. This is only 44 by 44 and all the grounds were typically 64 by 64 or 64 by 50 and there was one 44 by 64 so none of them would fit there so i ended up having to put it all the way out here it's literally it's basically as far away as you can possibly get um because she does live like on that final road like going out of town you know um and the festival is the farthest lot basically you can get away but it's fine we'll just say that for her it's like a day trip and she doesn't work tomorrow so it'll make i mean not really but it'll kind of make sense for her to be like oh you know let me go and uh go to the festival with my friends you know even though she doesn't have any friends but we can pretend you know she can invite reagan and lydia and justine she can invite them all to the festival but she is at work currently and i think uh oh we have one day left to pay the 298 dollars bills love that um i'm just gonna kind of speed through work Marie is ambitious, so she will get promoted faster than other Sims. I'm going to be honest, it doesn't really seem like it because she's on day three of working and she's not even halfway, but, you know, if that's if you say so. Um, but we're just going to kind of speed through her working and then I'll actually have her, like I said, go to the festival after work tonight. So I will see you guys when she gets to the festival. All right, you guys, so she is just now getting off of work. She wants to go to a lounge, but... Girl, we're not going to do that. She made 285 simoleons, so just shy of enough to pay her bills, but she had some money left over, so luckily we'll be able to pay those. She's on her way to the festival, and I think once we get there, we're going to invite Lydia out, um, and hopefully she will come and hang out with us. Let's see. As far as relationships go, she is the closest with Lydia, which is really nice. Um, she's getting there with Reagan, and she's getting to know Louis. I still need her to work on her relationship with Justine, but don't worry, we'll get there. Okay, I promise we will get there. And I think I'm gonna have her pick some flowers while we're here. <clears throat> so I know this is like kind kind of cheating, like a little bit you could, I could definitely see how you would consider this cheating. Um, but also, like I just want her to have some money, you know? I'm, I kind of hate like, um, 
Actually, we're gonna invite her over. I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you invite over when you're on a community lot, that's the lot they get invited to. So, just a little FYI for you. Um, what was I saying now? I don't even freaking remember. Oh yeah, I know like, it's it could possibly be seen as cheating, you know, the whole picking flowers thing. But we're not going to do it a whole bunch. Like, there's literally only two flowers here for us to pick. So it's not like we're being that crazy. Um, hopefully she says, oh, thank God. She's finally saying yes. Um, it's not like we're going to do it a whole bunch. And there's not a whole bunch of flowers to pick regardless. I just want her to have a little bit of money because I feel like we just never have any money ever. And it's it's very frustrating. Who's this? Oh, this is Lewis. Let's go greet him. Um, no, you are not raining on... Oh, it is sunny. Okay, I thought I saw raindrops, and I was like, bitch, get out of here. Okay, where is Lydia? I know she's here because we have that little, like... That little, like, thing that we're... Oh, you know, you know how I can find her? Take a greeting card photo with Lydia. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lock that in just because I feel like we'll do that sooner than we will go to the bookstore. Is she pregnant? She's wearing maternity clothes. Let's see. Let's go ask about her age. Let's discuss work. Get to know her. Ask her sign. We'll chat with her. Tell her a funny story. Be funny. They took a cute photo together. I can't tell if she's like early stages of pregnancy or if that shirt just makes you look pregnant because it's a maternity shirt. Oh, she's a lot older than us. That's fine. We can have older friends. It's not the end of the world. I would love if they came out of this as friends. Like that would be ideal, to be honest. Um, she's a workaholic. Okay, we're like actually getting to know people. I love this. We know her relationship status. We know her job. Oh my god, we just learned two traits about her. Girl, she's our bestie, for real. She is meant to be our... And she's an Aries. She's our bestie. It's meant to be. It's freaking meant to be. I love them. I love them already. So we're just going to be super funny with her because being funny actually gets your relationship up faster than being friendly. I know I mention this a lot, but it's true. It does. Um, oh, she thinks we're boring. My bad. Um, applaud her hard work. Oh my gosh. Um, tell her a funny story. Like, I just, I need you guys to be friends. Like I said, there's no work tomorrow, so if you're up super late, it's not a big deal. Chat with her. Um, she is pregnant. Feel her tummy. Oh my god. That was the cutest thing ever. Listen to her tummy. Do it. Oh my god. Do shaka bra. Um, enthuse about science. Oh my god, our bestie's having a baby. Let's talk to our tummy. And give her a friendly hug. Okay, and it's after nine, so I don't think. Oh, it does still work. Okay, so we're going to go skate. I'm actually going to disband the group so she doesn't be like, you know, oh my goodness, group outing was horrible. Um, I cannot say that was the best outing, but it absolutely wasn't the worst. We should try again sometime. Well, good to know because you know what? Tomorrow is um, leisure day. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. Tomorrow is leisure day, so we will definitely be going out with our friends tomorrow. I think I want to have like a group outing and have a bunch of people come with us. I want to do one more quick lap for flowers. We got some here. There's really not a whole lot of flowers on this lot, which I'm actually fine with because like I said, it's not, I know it's not really cheating, but I kind of feel like it, it's, I feel like it's a little bit cheating. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to let her skate. I'm going to have her stop, actually. I was going to say I was going to let her skate until she got good at it, but I don't want her to um, be skating for too long. And then are these? Nope. They're open 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. We're going to go home, and I think we're going to actually cook some food um, because I would like to... Let me see. She only needs two more flowers. 
Let me see if two more flowers have spawned. Just so she can get that wish. I literally don't even want it for the money at this point. I want it to get that wish completed. Mm, okay, here's one. Go pick that sweet William. Oh, here's two. Okay, perfect. Pick those two flowers and then off you go. I'm going to sell what we have. Oh, oh. Where did all these samples come from? Okay, girl. I don't know who you are, but... Okay, I'm just gonna sell them now because if you let it go past midnight after when you pick them, they actually decrease in value and I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna pick them now or we're gonna sell them now. Perfect, she wants to pick 10 flowers but I'm not gonna lock that in just because, like I said, I don't wanna rely on picking flowers for money too much. I wanna kind of like get money the natural way, you know what I mean? Like by working and everything and she can sell her paintings and sell her science experiments and stuff um <clears throat> but yeah i'm gonna send her home i'm gonna have her grab something quick to eat uh we'll go ahead and pay our bills because we a grown woman and we got bills to pay i honestly hate these things i should just take them out they take longer they genuinely do okay and if you guys don't believe me i had a big family I had like I think my family was of eight it was like parents six children or like five children and some significant others I don't know anyways it was a really big family and I had them all go out to eat half of them took a taxi the entire way the other half of them took a taxi to these to the subways went through the subway and then got a taxi from the subway to where they were actually going and the people who just took a taxi the whole way got there faster granted it was by like two sim minutes but they still got there faster so it's like it's it's just very annoying um where's her mailbox it's right here we're gonna go ahead and pay the bills first actually and then we're gonna grab some autumn salad and we're just going straight to bed we're not gonna do dishes like none of that she is exhausted you guys a freaking exhausted but one thing I will do, I just want to wait for the light to turn on. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do before I end this part is we are going to update what we can of her kitchen. I'm going to do the stove first just because I know I have her queued up to use the fridge so it might like throw her off. And I like to either use this stove here or um, this one. I actually think I might use this one though. I know it's not what I normally do, but um, I don't know, try something different. So I'm gonna have the wood match that and then I'm gonna have the gray match the cat. So basically it's going to be flipped the opposite of the countertops. Does that look weird? I feel like that looks weird. I don't know, it looks weird but I'm also I, I, I don't love it. <laughs> I was like, it looks weird, but I'm living for it. I'm not. I'm not living for it. Um, we're going to keep it for now. If you guys hate it, I will change it up. Um, but for now, we're going to keep her. Um, so now I need to upgrade the... Can I afford a microwave? No. I think in this house, the only thing she's going to have is a microwave. I'm not going to do like a fancy... Um, no fancy like coffee maker or processor or anything just because she doesn't really have the space for it and again she's a single woman she doesn't really need it but i'm gonna go ahead and end part two right here in the next part we are going to try and get a bunch of people to maybe the festival together we'll invite lydia and juan we'll maybe we'll just throw a party actually no because you have to pay to throw a party unless it's at your house you know what maybe in the no no you know what we're gonna do you know what we're gonna do i finally decided we're just going to invite people out to the pool we're not going to legitimately throw a party we're just going to keep inviting people to the pool and we're going to have a pool day because it is going to be leisure day so if you guys enjoyed this part make sure you let me know by giving me a thumbs up commenting down below and subscribing if you have not already and i will see all of your lovely lovely faces in my next one Bye, guys.